young woman went off into the world. You might want to call her a boat person, or a refugee, or a Vietnamese, or an Australian, or all of the above. Dai Li's life story is a bewildering one. I was the sixth born child, and I lived in the most beautiful village on earth. She's an Australian for whom Hollywood films about Vietnam are now more real than her memories of the country in which she was born. Saigon, April 1975. Somewhere out amidst this chaos is a confused and bewildered child called Dai Li. Her world is collapsing. Her father works at the American Embassy, and he tells her mother to take Dai and her sister and run. They never see him again. At seven, Dai Li becomes one of those countless refugees that we've come to know as boat people. Welcome to Vietnam, ladies and gentlemen. These are customs instructions. After 20 years away, a Vietnamese coming home is assaulted by a welter of emotion. First, fear. Dai Li is sick with apprehension. It is the terrible isolation that comes of finding yourself a foreigner in your own land. The second emotion is astonishment. A third emotion, bewilderment, driving down the streets where she spent her childhood. The city is unrecognizable, yet the memories that flood back are searing. It's the last memory of Vietnam. As the ship goes slowly, 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 I can see people running around the rice field, and I could see this black mushroom smoke. You know, inside it was red. Um, helicopters around, and um, you know. People were screaming. I think screaming to say, don't, don't leave us behind, you know? Um, but that was, that, that was the last um, memory I have of Vietnam. 90 minutes south of old Saigon lies Song Bay, the region to which, when she escaped, the rest of her family was sent for re-education when the communists took over the south. It's where she's searching for the grandmother she's not seen in 20 years. Trời ơi, nói thế nào rồi. Cũng hy vọng gì đây. 
mà cứ tết đi nó ăn thì cứ vợ khóc vậy á Twenty years after the end of the war, Dai Li's once prosperous family still pays the price of being on the losing side. They've never been able to move back into the city or reclaim their property. <coughs> Grateful for the packets of traditional lucky money that Dai brings them, they, like millions of peasants, have yet to share in the economic revival that's creating a whole new class of entrepreneurial Vietnamese. Dai and her cousin Hung were born in the same year. And for the past 20 years, Hung has lived the peasant life that might so easily have been Dai's destiny. What sort of life do you think that Dai is living now and how do you think it differs from here? Tưởng tượng thì bên đó chắc có lẽ sống thoải mái hơn bên đây. <cười> Không phải làm vất vả hơn ở đây thôi. How do you think people of this village feel towards foreign Vietnamese coming home again? Chắc không đâu. <cười> Nghĩ những người đó thì người ta may mắn hơn mình thôi chứ. Tại vì trời cũng ban cho mình cuộc sống như thế nào thì mình phải chịu thôi chứ. Cũng không có gì. <cười> But a shadow hangs over this reunion. A shadow that Dai fears causes perhaps the last and most lingering anguish of the war. Nó thấy chứ hết, nó thấy chứ hết, bắt đầu nó đau dữ lắm. Đau, đau khủng quá nó ổn chứ được là nó đưa về bình viện Bình Dương. Về Bình Dương vô siêu âm. Vô siêu âm thì nó nói sàng thần. Her grandmother is dying of an unexplained illness. One which Dai believes may be the result simply of living in the region. During the war, 40 million liters of the defoliant Agent Orange were sprayed on Vietnam. And while American and Australian soldiers suffered from even brief contact, people here had to go on living amongst its poisons. <laughs> công công chánh huyện Bình Long sông bé gì đó cái vùng đó có 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 vùng đó là dữ lắm á vậy hả vùng rải mà nó so những nơi khác nó gấp 10 lần những nơi khác đây nè Bình Long Phước Long sông bé cha at the Tu Du Hospital Dr Tan tells Dai Li there is no way of proving if her grandmother is dying from the effects of Agent Orange 